Hello everyone, welcome to the next edition of the Spell Breakdown series. Thanks to the feedback from the previous video, I'm back to provide you with all the useful information about popular spells that you could ever hope to need. Remember to like this video if you want to see more of these, as they take time and I'm fueled by appreciation. So let's get on with it. Today we're breaking down the Convert spell. As we did previously, let's see what Bullfrog has to say about their own spell. The Convert spell is a special spell which you can cast around Wildbit to convert them to your cause. When you cast the spell, a ring of light will appear and any chosen Wildman inside the ring will be converted. Well, that's the Convert spell. Thanks for watching, guys. Convert is a low-cost spell that converts neutral Wildman into Braves your tribe. It is critical to use in worlds that are inhabited by Wildmen to increase the speed in which you establish your settlement. The spell's prime use is to convert roaming wildmen on the planet into loyal followers of your tribe. The long range of the spell allows you to convert men from a great distance. Wildmen will change to braves as long as they are within their spell radius and will remain there whilst the other wildmen gel their hair and put on a pair of trousers. Once all the wildmen are gone from the planet, convert's effect no longer has any bearing on the game, making it strictly an early game spell. The common use for Convert, due to its low cost and its inadequacy after the early game, is to use it as a spell to interrupt falling animations, lava deaths and firestorm panic. The wiki has us covered for the statistics again. Mana required is 100, which is a variable that means nothing to the average player. However, this is the same cost as the blast spell, so let's head to the mana den to see if they match. Bienvenido a la den de mana. So, these timings should match the blast timings, but they won't, because I didn't run a fair test. Some clips are a different length, and I'm not a scientist. Get over it. As we can see, it takes 24 seconds for 20 Braves to charge a Convert whilst they are clipping their nails. 99 of them will do it in 6.1 seconds, and 199 will give you a Convert in 3 seconds. That's a lot of rogue fingernails. When focusing on the task, 20 of them will give you a Convert in 8 seconds, 99 in 1.6 seconds, and 199 in 0.7 seconds. These last two seem to show a big difference to the blast cost because the spell is charged so quick and I didn't match the clip lens. I'm not a scientist, goddammit! Maximum charges now, or shots if you're the maniac who wrote the Wikipedia, and it's four. This means you can charge a spell four times before you need to use the spell to charge more. Now that there is science. Spell range now, it's massive. Duration now, what? Sorry, what's that? That didn't constitute a breakdown? Okay guys, give me a break, let's go to the shooting range. Right, so basically the white line shows how far we can cast Convert, and compared to the other spells, the range is tremendous. The spell itself creates a ring at the centre of your target, so you can convert Wildmen that are further than the spell's maximum range. Let's throw the overlay on. Look, it's so big we can convert the control panel. Make sure your control panel isn't wild, or the enemy may convert it. <clears throat> Alright, uh, worldview. Range, huge! This overlay really helps in comparing the spells. That's worth a like on the video, alright guys? Thanks Wildmen. Speaking of Wildman, how many can this spell convert if the wiki says the duration is only 3 seconds? We've got to test this. Ok, so a 3 second duration for convert is neither right nor wrong. If you cast a spell on 0 Wildman, the spell duration is around 1.8 seconds. However, if you cast it on one single Wildman, the duration is 3 seconds. It takes 1.2 seconds to convert the Wildman, and then spends the remaining 1.8 seconds searching for another Wildman. Of course, the more Wildman you add, the longer the spell duration. But the time it takes to convert each wildman can be random. Look here, it takes less than 0.1 seconds to convert the first wildman, 0.6 seconds for the second wildman, 0.6 seconds again for the third, 1.3 seconds for the fourth, and then it fizzles out after 1.8 seconds. The timer appears random, but it also depends on the wildman's proximity to the spell's area of effect. What we can say for certain is that the spell duration is at least 1.8 seconds whenever it is cast. One other thing to look at is the speed it converts wildman when stacked. It took 25 seconds to convert 36 Wildmen with a single convert. With two converts on the same area, it took 14.2 seconds. With three, 10.8 seconds, and with four, 9.6 seconds. So clearly the biggest increase has gone from one convert to two converts. But would it ever be beneficial to use two converts instead of one? Convert costs 100 mana, so we spent 100 additional mana to save 11 seconds here. Let's keep it simple and say the Braves don't produce mana until the Convert is finished and then they immediately start working. We have working Braves generating mana for 11 seconds, so how much is that exactly? Each Brave generates almost 35 mana per minute. 36 working Braves will produce around 200 to 230 mana in 11 seconds. 
giving you at least 100 mana profit from casting a second convert. With less Braves converted, there will be less time spent working and less mana will be produced. I would say that if there is 30 or more Wildman, using two converts will be more beneficial than one. Any number lower than that would be detrimental rather than beneficial. This is unlikely to ever come into play as worlds are rarely populated by Wildman at such a dense rate. So sticking with a single convert is generally the best play. It's incantation time, Tsunama. Pronounced su na ma At least that's my take on it. Listen to it yourself and let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Tsunama. 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 I feel confident about this one, guys. Convert is first seen on level 3, Crisis of Faith. You will see the Chimara tribe using it at the beginning of the level. You'll get to use it yourself on the following level when worshipping this stone head, and the knowledge to use it throughout the game is found on level 6, Building Bridges. In multiplayer, this is a default spell and will be available in the majority of games. If a world is not inhabited by a wildman, then the spell is typically unavailable as it has no use. I hope you've taken something away from this video guys, whether it be some information you weren't aware of, or maybe you just entertainment value. Either way guys, if you can leave me a like and leave some nice comments, you know that would be great. It does take a lot of time to make these videos in particular, especially when I'm trying to stick to another schedule of putting three videos out a week of, of different gameplays and comedies and the like. Of course, if you haven't seen the Blast Breakdown, it's on the screen now, along with a random video as well. Click on them, support the channel, that's great. Support the populace at the beginning, that's the game we all love to play. So thank you for watching guys, and take care.